Tom McGee, the museum director for the Bellingrath Home at Bellingrath Gardens and Home. We're standing in Bessie Morse Bellingrath's bedroom, and I'm standing beside her bed. This bed was purchased from a Mrs. Holder that lived in New Orleans on Audubon Boulevard in the 1930s. Um, the bed originally would have had a half teaster. At some point that was removed. It would not have fit in this room otherwise. One of the uh, intriguing things I've discovered was that in an early uh, write-up of this home for tour guides, they were told that these end pieces were moved so that the lady of the house could hide her jewels down these little holes. Well, that's completely false. These holes are here to hold poles that would have held mosquito netting. Remember that in the 1850s there was no such thing as window screening, and the only way uh, you could have gotten a good night's rest on a hot summer night with the doors open was to have mosquito, mosquito netting over your bed to keep the bugs off you. Um, so that's what the purpose of it is. So Mrs. Bellingrath bought this in around 1936-1937 and it's been here ever since.